This is a demonstration of a dynamic menu button backed by a slow web service. An initial naive implementation is presented where the slow web service call is made synchronously prior to presenting a list of options. A more professional approach is then presented that still suffers from the slow web service, but the approach keeps the user engaged throughout the retrieval. Here is a video showing the synchronous approach. The entire UI is locked up waiting for the web service call to complete. The algorithm for the naive approach retrieves the web services data. Then it formats the JSON data into a container domain object preferred colleges. That domain object is then transferred via a lambda into a list of strings. And the list of strings is then transformed into a list of menu items. In the menu item transformation, a handler is attached to the on action property. Finally, the list of menu items is set in the component menu button. Recall the lack of status in the video. And now notice the presence of many status updating calls. Although the code attempts to give feedback to the user, the visibility, text, and progress manipulations are completely ignored. This includes, perhaps surprisingly, the visibility calls made even before the long-running operation starts. Here's a video showing the JavaFX task approach. The web service call is still slow, but the user receives plenty of feedback during the operation. The task-based approach uses the same processing blocks as the naive approach. A web service is called, JSON data is retrieved and transformed into menu items. However, the integration of this processing into the main program is different. I define a task with a call method that invokes the web service and returns the data in a domain object format. This data is saved in a member variable for later use. Throughout the task, I make calls to the task methods that update a status label and progress bar. I'll describe the status updating mechanism later. The processing blocks are split from the naive approach. The call method contains the data fetching, and a later succeeded method will load the UI menu item components into the menu button. I'm using that built-in error handling of the task class rather than catching exceptions or checking results in succeeded. Instead of putting all the code in the call method, it's spread out among the special purpose handlers of the task. Failed is invoked when there is an exception. This frees me up from having to add exception handlers in the call method. Canceled is available if I want to call the cancel method from the call method. For example, I can call cancel if I want to extend the calls method handling of an empty data set. The most interesting part of this example is the binding. If you're coming to JavaFX from a swing background, you're used to issuing commands on your UI components. For example, call the setVisibleTrue command to make a UI component visible. With JavaFX, you can bind the properties of the various FX components, including the task class. The label, label status is text property, is bound to the task's message property. This in turn is connected to the update message method, which you see throughout my task's call method. When I write update message loading, it is updating the task's message property, then it updates the label status text property. Update message is on the FX thread, so I don't need to add a run later lambda. Similarly, the progress bar PB status's progress property is bound to the task's progress property. As with update message, there is an update progress that manipulates the task property. A change to the task's progress made by my update progress calls will result in the progress bar being updated. I want both the label and the progress bar visible during this operation and I'd like to hide it otherwise. So I've bound the visible properties of both the label and the progress bar to the task's running property. I don't have to add code to determine the task's state and issue set visible calls.
This video post contrasted a JavaFX task-based approach to loading a long-running web service with a series of synchronous programming statements, what I call the naive approach. While it would be worthwhile to address the problems with the slowness of the web service, we must defensively program as a temporary delay could lock up the UI. The stakes are high these days for the UI. Any slowness on today's fast processors won't be tolerated, and your users will head to the force quit exit. The few extra lines of task code are well worth it if you can keep data corruption or dissatisfied users away.